been talking to you, love. Tonight we've we've come out. She wants you to. Tonight we've come out to a place called Evenly, a little village in Northamptonshire. And all I'm doing really, it's more of a scouting mission than anything. There's a, a hall over here. I'm trying to see if I can get into a position where I can photograph it being backlit by the setting sun. So we're just walking up to there now. I've already took a, a couple of photos of some lone trees of some beautiful trees singled out over there that you can see um, and they're all stuck in massive great wheat fields. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be dark. I'm in the overhang. But we're just gonna have a little trek up here. It's not far. Just to see if we can see the hall and get that in the background. So if it doesn't work, I'll let you know. Until then, in a bit. Hello again. So what I've got here is I'm focused on that tree there. See? That tree's gonna go. Focus on that tree there anyway. Um, I've got this as a strong diagonal, this little path in the field here. A strong diagonal going through the frame, top to bottom, left to right, all the way up, leads you up to the path to the setting sun, to the tree. Beautiful. Lovely golden light on some of this wheat, this wheat field here. Looking beautiful. Um, I'm at about 30 mil here, on the 16 to 35. Uh, focus to infinity, obviously, shooting at f11. And I'm bracketing with five shots. I don't need the five shots, but I've set it to bracket at five, and I've got to go into the settings to find how to switch that off to three. Uh, so yeah, this is my scene. I'll get back to you in a minute. Why did my voice go so high? In a bit. So what I've done now is, I've changed the battery and I've switched to the linear mode. Linear wide, super wide, linear. I'm on linear, linear. I'll say it again, linear. So as you can see, look behind me, see this bank of clouds that's coming in. I'm hoping that's gonna go all shades of colors in a little while. There's a fair bit of cloud, I'll show you fair bit of cloud behind you up there and I might turn around if it's any good and get a shot here up that little track a little bit so I've got a bit of a leading line into it through this gap in the hedge here but that might turn all shades of colours as well open oranges pinks yellows purples but yeah that's it at the minute that cloud is slowly moving over we've got about another 25 30 minutes till the sun goes down so I've got to be a little bit patient here. Quite a popular route for dog walkers as well. I've just taken a photo of one going through there. He did ask if he could go through first, so nice of him. Don't get that very often, do we? Wife's over there taking photos and face fucking <gasps> Facebooking. Another dog walker with headphones on. But yeah. Anyway, if this shot's any good which I'm hoping it sincerely is. I just wanna get that tree in silhouette there. Get that tree in silhouette. I might have to do a bit of work in Photoshop with these trees. Maybe remove some of them or not, I don't know yet. We'll see how they turn out. But yeah, that's my plan. Hoping that them, them clouds up there take a bit of color on. All right, in a bit. Just to get that little bit of anticipation that little feeling, a little knot in your stomach when things start to come together. You can just see the sun's getting low enough now just to catch the bottom of them clouds. Hopefully it's going to happen and get this entire bank of cloud, get it all lit up if we can. At the minute of what we're looking at, we've got three bands of colour running up. Well, four if we're counting the wheat field here. We've got this wheat field. I've got the main focus, which is this big tree here. That's going to, it's lined up on the rule of thirds. This big tree here, and then behind it, the three bands of colour in the sky. That, they're 
something beneath the cloud, that bit there that is the cloud, and then above the cloud, the blue of that. Truly looks amazing, probably one of the best compositions I've ever sought out. I usually have to work at it, as I've told you before, I have to work at my compositions, I have to work at photography, I have to, it doesn't come naturally. I'm not very arty, like some people. There's dogs coming again. This is truly a so quiet here. The village is just behind you there, along with the wife. She's indulging my passion for tonight. Okay, I'm gonna take some more. I'm gonna keep shooting until I get the perfect one that I can put on. I only put one up tonight. The perfect one. The perfect shot. It's never happened to me yet. Okay, in a bit, you know sometimes when your anticipation outweighs the outcome. I think that's gonna be the case here. I'm happy with the composition. It's a nice strong composition. The light's just not forthcoming. She agrees. We'll give it, sun's gonna set in about another three or four minutes. And we'll give it five or 10 minutes after that. Just to see my clouds as well. The clouds are slowly drifting away out of my composition. And I don't really wanna move because I like the composition I've got. Yeah, I'll check back in a minute. I think I've got some good photos anyway. That's it. No fancy B-roll, no fancy transitions or cuts. Just straight photography, straight talk. I didn't get the light I was expecting, but I did get some nice shots. And I'll show you them to now. Show them to now. Show them to you now. Uh, so yeah, until the next time. Drive it.